Did you know that in microgravity, we are preparing one of the most promising fuels for the future? Are we witnessing the rise of a new iron age? Could we use metal powders instead of petrol to fuel our cars? Such questions have been considered for a few years now, and microgravity is helping to find answers and models to refine the processes needed to efficiently burn solid fuel like iron dust. Solid fuel is not new, and we are all familiar with one or another form of it. Burning a match, lighting a sparkler on New Year's Eve, or the fuel inside the boosters of an Ariane and other rockets. We're used to burning fossil fuels in engines, but the combustion of these fuels leads to emissions of carbon dioxide that drive climate change. Our research team is investigating the use of metals, such as iron, as viable and cleaner alternative fuels. We're developing a novel concept for power generation in which metal powders are burned with air in a combustion chamber to deliver clean, high-grade heat. This heat could be used directly for industrial applications or residential heating, and can also power heat engines to produce electricity in compact and efficient power systems. Metal fuels can be recycled using clean energy, such as from solar cells or wind turbines. In this way, clean electricity is stored as chemical energy in the metal fuel at energy densities that are competitive with fossil fuels. Metal fuels can become clean energy commodities that can be traded across the globe, reducing greenhouse gas emissions globally. One key barrier to implementing metal fuel technologies is the development of combustion systems that can efficiently burn metal fuels, which requires a solid understanding of their combustion physics. To understand the physics of uh, metal fuel combustion, we need to freeze a cluster of iron powder for about 30 seconds. The time needed to observe and to study how a flame, heat and reaction wave propagates, actually percolates, through a cloud of evenly dispersed metal particles, which individually ignite and burn at their own surface. Therefore, we use the Sandy rocket and parabolic flight to run these experiments in weightlessness and to validate existing models. The year 2019 yielded some promising results that woke up the scientific and industrial community skeptical till that point. The ideas were not new, but uh, space-borne experiments now induce a new way to quantify the results, which can be directly retrofitted in the design of more performant and more efficient metal fuel burners. The density of uh, iron particle and the composition of gases in the combustion chamber are essential parameters exactly like in a petrol car engine. Microgravity allows us uh, to study the laws of flame propagation to optimize uh, those parameters in industrial burner design and in turn to further reduce any impact to the environment. Uh, this space experiment will also help us understanding similar phenomena such as the spreading of contagious microbes and forest fires a priceless spin-off nowadays. We are very interested to give our contribution to the carbon dioxide reduction by a world premiere. That's the installation you see here behind, a, an iron fuel installation. Uh, well, uh, we are doing that as the first company in cooperation with the consortium, the Metal Power Consortium and the University in Eindhoven. Uh, we've worked on it for many years. We are using at the moment solar power, we are using biogas, but also normal gas. And in the end, we want to make all the energy sources sustainable and iron power can make a big impact on that. Uh, we are very interested also for the longer term to change and transfer the gas consume, consumption we as a company have into iron power. And uh, we believe that this will be the future as well. Here in Eindhoven we work uh, with uh, iron powder for uh, about four years. And iron powder is very interesting fuel because uh, it's cheap first of all, but then you can store it in an easy way and you can recycle it and use it again. So that makes it very interesting as a future recyclable fuel. Together with our very enthusiastic student team, Team Solid, we are now developing a, a new system called Metal Power standing behind me. And this is a 100 kilowatt system where we burn metal, so the iron powder, 
and we produce steam uh, and we catch the rust powder, so the produced oxides, we can uh, reuse these oxides again to make iron powder from, so a recyclable fuel. And um, together with the, uh, the, the brewery uh, Swinkels, we want to demonstrate this uh, to make CO2 free beer. We recently started two new big projects. One project which is a factor of 10 bigger in power, so it's a one megawatt even, 10, 10 times bigger than this one. And we should again burn metal powder, so iron powder, to produce steam. And in the second uh, project, which is 5 megawatt even, so a factor of 50 bigger than this one, to, uh, together with a big company in Rotterdam, to uh, produce heat for Rotterdam. Altogether, we uh, raised up, up to 10 million euros of funding from the governments and from industry to support these projects. And for the future, we have even bigger plans because we are now thinking of, in five years' time, to help the uh, heat-intensive industry with systems of typically 10 megawatts, so a factor of 100 bigger than this one. And in 10 years' time, we want to rebuild our first coal-fired power plant to iron powder. More and more entities are investing in metal fuels. One example is the hybrid initiative in Sweden, aiming to create large amounts of energy by 2035. Sweden has already invested huge sums to make it possible. Many industrial sectors can actually benefit from deeper knowledge of the ignition and combustion behaviors of metal fuels. The automotive and energy sectors are just a few examples. The combustion and oxidizers and their ratio is key to enhancing combustion properties on Earth. Now that you know that space can help further study metal fuels, take advantage of the opportunities and capabilities that are available for your research and development to further grow and extend your achievements. Take the next step, the step to space. We already have.